There are many theories about the domestication of chickens. All agree that the genomes of modern chickens, Gallus domesticus and the Asian jungle fowl, have many similarities. The four, the jungle fowl Gallus gallus, was the ancestor of now living chickens. Researchers have found fossils of early chickens dating back 8,000 to 11,000 years ago in northern China and Pakistan. But genetics of living birds could not narrow the window for domestication. Research on chicken bones found on archaeological sites around the world made a lot clear. They found the oldest bones of likely chickens came from a site called Ban Non Wat in central Thailand where farmers grew rice 3300 to 3600 years ago. Farmers buried many skeletons of young members of the genus Gallus as grave goods along with other domesticated animals. Strong evidence that these birds were domesticated chickens rather than wild jungle fowl. The researchers proposed that the rice seeds drew wild jungle fowl to rice fields where the birds nested in thickets at the edge of the fields and got used to humans. I imagine that a curious chicken had wandered into the village one day and lingered there because it was being fed by the farmers. Or a farmer brought home a nest of chicks and those chickens quickly became accustomed to humans. However it happened, jungle fowl soon became an indispensable part of the farming villages. And probably the farmers began the use the undomesticated form in cockfighting and began to breed them. As the scientists traced the trail of chicken bones across Asia into the Middle East and Africa, they found a striking correlation between the spread of dry rice farming, millet and other grains and the appearance of chickens. Chickens appeared about 3,000 years ago in northern China and India, the team found and about 2,800 years ago in the Middle East and Northeast Africa. The first chickens in Europe were found in an Etruscan site in Italy 2,800 years ago. The study is backed up by historical records too, including the Bible. Chickens don't feature in the Old Testament. It took another 1,000 years before chickens spread north to Britain with the Romans, Scandinavia, and Iceland. The subtropical birds likely had to adapt to the colder climates. Still, it's only recently that humans began to think of the birds primarily as food. Initially, people traded them as exotic possessions, valued for their feathers, colouring and loud crow at first light, based on how they were depicted in art and buried as prized grave goods. Early chickens were smaller, she notes, and not a major source of meat. But the research team's review shows that about 500 years after chickens are introduced to each new place, they lose their special status and become an ordinary food. Even though chickens were domesticated later than other animals, they have become the most successful domesticated species on the planet today. At 80 billion strong, they outnumber us 10 to 1.